Hi everybody and welcome back to Lunch with the Cardinals after spring break. Today is Monday, March 19th, 2012 and I'm Rick Cole, the Director of Sports Broadcasting at William Jewell College. Our show is brought to you by Hillcrest Thrift Store in Liberty. Remember, discount day for students is Thursday and you get 20% off with a student ID card at Hillcrest Thrift Store on Mill Street in Liberty. Let's take a look at uh, the weekend's activities, and really we were hosting softball and baseball. Those were the main activities on campus this weekend. Softball got a split on Saturday with Umsel, and then came back against Maryville yesterday with another split, losing the first game 3-2, to two, winning the second game 8-7. to seven. Eileen Greenwood put a button down in the bottom of the seventh inning to score the winning run. A big solo home run by Taylor Brown also to tie the ball game up in the seventh inning, but a back-and-forth game against Maryville in which they scored seven runs in the top of the seventh. Cardinals win that second game. They get to split with Maryville on Sunday. They are now 10-9 and on the year and headed for non-conference action at Newman in Wichita on Wednesday. Dustin Combs talks a little bit about the game on Sunday. What a change of momentum. <laughs> that was. What changed it around in that seventh inning? Yeah, they don't quit. That's bottom line. They never quit. Even when it was 6-0, they kept fighting, and they were playing for run, one run each inning. And uh, Maria pitched out of some great... Uh, opportunities for them but uh, like I told our girls they never never quit on us and um, you know that's kind of the approach we had to take there in the bottom of the seventh um, you know Maria just absolutely cruised through six and then um, probably a little fatigue and then you know they again they don't quit yeah Taylor had uh, gotten hot uh, yesterday and, and uh, no surprise that that she can get in these streaks and had a great day at the plate yesterday and uh, moved her back into a spot she's more comfortable in, the five hole, and um, you know, uh, not a bit surprised that she comes up in a situation. She's the type of kid that uh, strives in those situations, wants to be in the situation. And when when I looked down and saw that we had her leading off the inning, I felt uh, pretty confident. A homer to left, leading off the seventh, made it seven all. And then I thought maybe the key at bat of the game, Emily Klein. You know, they talk about home runs are big rally killers. Sometimes you have to start all over mm -hmm. and, you know, bases are empty. But Klein gets a base on balls and eventually ends up scoring the winning run. But I think just putting the pressure on Maryville, that was a big at bat for Klein. Yeah, she's been seeing the ball really well. She's been hitting it, swinging the bat well, but also drawing walks and also getting deep in counts. And, um, you know, when she got on base, uh, she's, a, she's a great base runner. She's going to read balls in the dirt, and she did that on, on one pitch. And then she also uh, can create some, uh, some disturbance with her speed. And, you know, that, that ball was bunted pretty hard to the first baseman, and then just had a great jump off the bag. And uh, she, she can slide. She, she made a heck of a slide yeah. to get past their catcher. Baseball had a very tough weekend this past weekend in uh, dropping a doubleheader on Saturday to Wisconsin Parkside, dropping another doubleheader yesterday to Lewis University. Yesterday it was Lewis 11-6 to in the first game and 4-1 to in the second game. The uh, baseball team now 7-9 and on the year. They have the week off before going to St. Joseph's College in Indiana to play on Saturday. Don't forget our highlight packages from the basketball seasons are on sale now. The highlights come from the William Jewell College Sports Network's coverage of men's and women's basketball this year. You can see a little bit of the uh, highlight tapes right now. Here's a little bit longer look at our highlight tapes that are on sale now here on the website. All right, ring the bell, baby. Got the three. Tighten it up. Who's there? Who's Ring it a bell, Ruth. Ring it a bell, baby. Amazing on defense. Well, I guess that's a pretty good example, isn't and it? And Nicolay comes up with the ball, knocked loose by Harrington, and Meeks one more time. How about that, Cardinal fans? Chelsea Meeks, three baskets in a row. Schweitzer off to Smith, and Nicolay, and the Cardinals score again on the turnovers. Off the glass, and good. Chris Hughes. And the steal by Mason in the score. Larson down low, around Brock, draws a double team and scores it. That's what he can do. Nick Larson can score on a box as good as anybody. And that's going to do it for Lunch with the Cardinals for today, Monday, the 19th of March, 2012. Stay dry out there. It's supposed to be a very wet week here in Liberty. And we'll see you tomorrow with more Lunch with the Cardinals.